Canabean Show. I'm Joe Wamba. Join now with Paul Canabean, head coach of the men's lacrosse team. Coach, you guys get to host your home opener against Owu, and you guys have a really offensively balanced performance. Eight guys getting in the goal call. Yeah, you know, I think it's been we've been playing pretty well offensively. You know, 13 goals in the first game, 11 in the second, 16 this game. I think we're doing a really good job. We're getting a lot of shots. We're averaging about 50, 52 shots a game, which you like. We like to shoot a little bit at a higher percentage, but I think the opportunities we're getting are pretty good, and I think we're doing a really good job at making working for good shots, and that's good. And we're being pretty aggressive. We're not we're not holding back, and the guys are pretty confident going. But we do need to clean up a little bit of the turnovers but I like what we're doing on the offensive end and hopefully it continues and on the defensive side you guys played well in stretches yeah but we're able to stave off a woos uh you know they're combating that. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't one of our best, uh, you know, our best goes defensively. You know, we thought we played a lot better in the first two games this way. But, you know, that's how it goes defensively. Sometimes you're not always great. And they were a pretty quick team. They had some really tough guys that were pretty fast. And, and they were up against the wall. Given credit, they knew they needed this game for their at-large bid. They can't win their conference. And so they knew they came out pretty fired up. And, and they're a good team. I think they're going to be a team to be reckoned at the end of the day. But, you know, defensively, give a lot of credit to Don Fazio. His shoulder pops out in the first half. He makes a save. And then his shoulder pops out. We pop it back in. He plays the rest of the game. You know, that shows the toughness that these guys have at the end at that end of the field and I think at the end of the day we showed enough grittiness and toughness at that end with Ross really making some really big saves for us and um, you know I think we did a good job enough just enough to get it done and I think we'll be better in our next in our upcoming games defensively for sure and Donofrio having a chance to hop in net there and <laughs> yeah. make a stick save too yeah that could have been one of the plays of the year you know Don makes the save and Donofrio gets it he runs out we get a fast break and unfortunately we missed the layup at the other end but you know it shows what these guys are willing to do I think Ross is a really dynamic leader uh, shows how kids are wanting the play for him and being able to jump in front of shots and you know that's a big play for us you know we get there we come the other end and uh but you know that thing shows the character of our guys willing to do anything it takes in order for the help the team win and that's kyle who's one of the best players in the country jumping in the net in order to make a play for us and that's how you win that's how you win games you know guys especially against great teams you're willing to make more sacrifices than the other team you're going to win a lot of games and i think that we're in this game we made a lot of sacrifices in order to win let's talk a little bit more about that character and the mentality of the team you know uh, Ohio Wesleyan was mounting some comebacks, and you guys were, were able to, to stop them. Just talk a little bit about that mentality for these yeah. for your team not to get frustrated. Yeah, I think you know I think we've been doing a great job. The second half we've been better in every game in the second half than the first half, and I think that shows a lot. I think good teams play better in the second half than the first half, and I think we're intending to, to do that. And uh, our toughness and our dynamic there is is a much better than a year ago. I kind of kidded with some people that we might have lost that game a year ago because we weren't tough enough to make the plays, and I think this year we were, and we had some of those tough plays. Paris Young making a lot of tough plays, Ethan Christensen playing like a senior, not a freshman, making some tough plays, Tyler Furman getting two goals for us there playing much better on the man up drawing more fouls and definitely getting more tough ground balls you know we 40 to 30 in ground balls is really a big thing uh we need to clean up our face off play a little bit you know we did some good things we still got to do a much better job there but we'll correct that but i think the toughness to win face offs when we needed the toughness to make plays when we needed to and to hold off big runs is a big character you know we never get lost the lead or never got tied and so that's a big thing to really hold them off throughout the game that's going to be awfully important as you guys move into this stretch of uh, the week yep. that you got up ahead. The Salisbury game has already been moved uh, around yeah. uh, just to get around the snowstorm that's coming, but you guys are still going to face – Three top 20 teams this weekend. Yeah, you know, unfortunately we had to move the Salisbury game just to, you know, we're going to have uh, about 10 to 12 inches in our area, and Salisbury didn't know if we traveled early whether we'd be able to get the game in if they got any snow, plus the high winds and the cold temperatures and people traveling. And, you know, I think it's just prudent. We, we, we caution on the safer side. We want to get this game in so both coaches are committed. We moved that game to March 30th to play it, and it's a back-to-back -back for both teams, so it's all equal. And uh, and then, you know, but we still got to now prepare for Lynchburg, who, who's a very good team, had some great wins lately, beat New York, played Played Salisbury tough. They've already played Cabrini, so they've been very tested. And then York's on a great roll right now, playing well. And then we got to play Tufts, who's probably a top three team, uh, who's rolling really well now, getting some quality wins. So no rest for the weary for us for sure. And But, you know, that's what we're used to doing. You know, we do it every year, so our guys are used to it, and they love it. And we're looking forward to a great weekend. The Mustang Classic, one of the biggest tournaments in the country year in and year out. So we're, we're, we're eager to host all these great teams, eight great teams, playing for a lot on the line. And a lot of things will be uh, sorted out throughout the weekend. So we're, we really appreciate all the coaches coming down and making this happen and be a part of it and uh we're excited to kick it off at uh i think uh 12 30 on uh, friday yeah. no snow in the forecast no. though <laughs> uh, what, what is playing this type of schedule playing these types of opponents 
do for you in preparations for should you make the NCAA tournament? Well, I think it helps us to play good teams week in and week out. In order to win an NCAA championship, every week you're going to play a good team that can beat you, and you got to play at a certain level. And I think this helps our guys that you can't take any halves off, you can't take any quarters off, and you got to be ready to play. And I think we've done a good job of that so far throughout the year. And uh, but that's what we like to do. I, you know, I tell people a lot that we can play anybody and win twenty to one. I mean, that's great. We can have an eight no schedule going in the conference play and to do that. But that's not what we want to do. We want to prepare ourselves for this NCAA run if we're lucky enough to get in, win our conference. And uh, if we're lucky enough to do that and be prepared to do that and playing these teams week in and week out help us do that and also shows our guys how to play and not take time off because some of you play a lesser team you can take a bad quarter here or there and it doesn't hurt you here if you do that against these teams it can hurt you so you know we like to do it and we're excited about it. Well, Coach, we're awfully excited to be hosting that Mustang Classic with you, too. No and uh, we wish you the best of luck this weekend. Thanks a lot. He's Paul Canabine. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Paul Canabine Show.